hey everyone so continuing from our last video in this one we will look at the son features that came as a part of 3gpp release 8 so we already discussed the three stages of son in the earlier video just to recap they are the self configuration self optimization and self healing logically they come one after another so 3gpp decided to go with self configuration as part of 3gpp release 8 now as we discussed earlier release 8 focused on e, e node b self configuration so the following features have been defined in release 8 automatic neighbor relationship uh, or anr management automatic physical cell identity or pci assignment automatic inventory automatic software download mobility load balancing so anr and mlb will be discussed in detail in the future videos now let's say a new base station or e node b is switched on for the first time this is the one which is in red and yellow outline it will have basic information stored on the configuration file with which it was shipped with so for example the e node b will need some ip addresses so it will know how to connect to the dhcp server and get an ip address then the dns server will allow it to discover other network nodes such as nms or the network management system mme or the mobility management entity and serving gateway or sgw when the e node b is switched on for the first time it requires minimal information as following so the domain name of the nms domain name of its mmes domain name of serving gateways e node b then contacts the nms and downloads the software if required downloads the configuration parameters like tracking area code or tac uh, plmn identities global cell id power information etc the physical cell id can then be assigned or it could be automatic this is showing a, a more detailed picture of, of what we saw in the earlier slide so as a final step the e node b runs the s1 setup procedure to establish connection with mmes during s1 setup procedure the e node b informs the mme about its tracking area code and plmn identities as well as the whether you know if it's something like a femtocell it would be a member of a close subscriber group or csg the mme then replies with a message that indicates its globally unique identity and the e node b can now start communicating over the s1 interface in case the e node b is equipped with an advanced receiver and this is more like modern e node b's or small cells or femtocells it can then start uh, scanning the surroundings to see which other physical cell identities are being used and can use one that it notices is not being used right so uh, it has to make sure there is no clash alternatively as a part of configuration it can receive list of physical cell ids it can use right and decide based on the surroundings and also the information it receives from neighbors as a part of x2 setup So the main high level son specifications are listed here for anyone interested in diving further into them. So this was a short video and I, I, we hope you actually find this useful as this forms the basis of other self configuration features that we are going to look at in the future. So as discussed earlier we will look at the automatic neighbor relationship or anr management and mobility load balancing or mlb in the forthcoming videos as a part of cell configuration so in the meantime keep safe and see you again soon thanks and goodbye